So here's a really quick video on this really, really important algebra skill. And this skill is important, not just in Algebra 1, but it's one of those skills that really, really sticks um, throughout all math. So it says, find the greatest common factor of 18xy and 36y squared. So the first thing I'm going to do is look at this in pieces, and I'm going to find the greatest common factor of the two numbers. The first one is 18, the other one's 36. This one uh, might be pretty obvious, but take a quick look and... What you could do is you could look at the factors of 18, and 18 looks like this. And this is a good way if you're going to factor numbers, uh, a strategy for doing that. Smallest, largest, second smallest, second largest, etc. So 1, 1 times 18. And we're asking ourselves a question, is 2 times something equal to 18? And it is, so it's 2. And 9 is 3 times something equal to 18, and it is 3 times 6 is 4 times something equal to 18? No, so we're not going to write that down. We're going to ask ourselves that question before we start writing. Is 5 times something equal to 18? It is not. Is 6 times something equal to 18? It is, and this is where people kind of mess this up a little bit because they write 6 again. We already have the 6, and that's a little line to put there and say, I've completed my list. Now we'll look at 36, and we'll do it the exact same way. Sorry, we'll do 36. We'll do it exactly the same way. Remember, we're going to take smallest factor, largest factor, so we trap ourselves in the middle. I know that this list is a little bit bigger, so 1 times 36 is 2 times something. Yes, it is 2 times 18, and there's, hopefully you can see what we're, what we're going to find here, is 3 times something, yes, 3 times 12, is 4 times something, yes, 4 times 9, is 5 times something, no, is 6 times something, 6 times 6, so we got that number twice. So after that, we go to 6, but we already have it, so we'd underline and say, okay, our list is complete. Um, I'm only underlining these, these things here as separate ideas, and the reason I underline these two pieces is because I wanted to make sure that I had completed my list of factors. A lot of times when people factor their lists are not complete. Now, we're looking for common factors. Common factor means shared factor, and we want the greatest common, so the greatest fa uh, shared factor. And we just look through. They have lots of shared factors, the largest of which is 18. So start our list. So we want to know what's the greatest common factor of 18 and 36. Well, that is 18. Now this one is x. And this one doesn't have an x, does it? So we can't. They don't share that at all. This one has y, and this one has y times y. This one just has a single factor of y. So they share the least of that. So it has 18y. So 18y is the greatest common factor. How could I prove that? Well, I prove that like this. I would, you, what it may look like on a, in future algebras, it said, well, what is 18xy plus 36y? And they, you may be asked to simplify this. So they're going to say, hey, simplify this. And when they're asking you to simplify that, what they're really asking you to do is look for the greatest common factor in this case. And I believe that that greatest common factor is 18, whoa, is 18y. Is 18y here. So what am I going to do? I'm going to pull out the 18y that we just discovered before, 18y. And then when we multiply this back in, we have to get this piece back. So 18y times what is equal to 18xy? Well, that would be x. And just check that. If I if you multiply this times this, you'll get that piece back, won't you? And then here you would get plus 2y. So what's the greatest common factor of of x and 2y, well, the greatest common factor is 1, so <clears throat> that thing is completely factored. Test your math again just to make sure you did it correctly. 18y times, eight, uh, sorry, 18y times x is 18xy. 18y times 2y is 18 times 2 is 36, and y times y is y squared. Sorry about that, I should have put that squared here, right? That squared went here, didn't it? And if we look at the original problem, it did say squared so that's right all right so not the hardest thing in the world but i just want to be uh, really really clear with you about this that you have got to have this skill i mean this is a crucial skill for all algebra students so you have to make sure that you have this skill we're going to be doing a lot more of this stuff you know what let's um maybe really quickly do just one more maybe huh so let's try just one more let's take i don't know um Forty-five x squared y and 
and 15, I guess, 15 x y. And did it the, exactly the same way we did before. First thing I'm gonna do is take a look at these numbers. So we have 45 here and 15 here. And I'm gonna just compare, I'm just gonna find the factors of each. So if I factor out 45, I'm gonna use that same method I showed you before, and it's one times 45. I'm gonna ask myself, is 45 divisible by two? And it's not. We know it's divisible by three because five plus four is nine and nine is divisible by, by three. So we know that we can move on and it's three times 15, isn't it? Four times something? No. Uh, five times something? Yeah, five times nine, right? Five times nine. Six times something? No. Seven times something? No. Eight times something? No. Nine times something? Yes, but we already have that. So we, we completed our list here, didn't we? We did a good job here. Now we're going to look for the factors of 15. So here's 15. 15. And 15, the factors of 15 are uh, 1 and 15, right? We know those for sure. 2 times something, no, because 15 is an odd number. 3 times something, yeah, 3 times 5, right? So 3 times 5 is 15. 4 times something, no. 5 times something, yes, but we already have, so our list is complete here. Now what we're going to do with these two lists is we're going to look for what is the biggest number that they share, the greatest shared factor, greatest common factor, and that is 15, isn't it? The greatest common factor of x squared and x is just x, and the greatest common factor of y and y is y. So uh, what might this problem look like in algebra? It might look like factor this completely. So factor, so factor 15xy plus 45x squared y. And we believe that the greatest common factor is 15 x y don't we so try that and you're going to pull this piece out we say this is the greatest common factor here isn't it and we pull that out and say okay so 15 x y times what well 15 x y times what is 15 x y well, i'm sorry one right just times one one plus this plus sign here is this plus sign right here 15 times what is 45? Well, that's 3. x times what is x squared is x, and then the whole thing, right? So we compare these two pieces. What's the greatest common factor of these two? The greatest common factor is 1. Can't factor that out. And if, when we multiply this back, we have to see if we get the original problem. Well, 15xy times 1 is 15xy. So that's check mark there. It's positive times positive, so this plus sign is this one. 15 times 3 is 45. So let's check mark there. X times X is X squared. So check mark there. And Y times 45 X squared is 45 X squared Y. Check mark there. So that worked out good, didn't it? Okay.